Okay, so John, the other day I get a call from a lady and she's frantic and she wants to get in for counseling as soon as possible. And I said, so what, what for? And she said, for premarital counseling. And I said, oh, okay, so uh, is this a first time? And, and she said, no, no, this is actually gonna be my second marriage and his second marriage. And I said, so, so okay. I started talking about the classes we offer and you know the times and all that and the dates. And she said, well, I really, this is an emergency. We have a, a wedding scheduled for later this month and I really need to get in because of some red flags that were raised. I said, okay, well, well what's going on? And she said, well, Brian, you, you don't know this, but um, several years ago, I got out of an abusive relationship. I left a marriage because the guy was verbally and emotionally abusive. Um, and, and literally, she said, at times I feared for my life. Well, shortly after she left the marriage, uh, he took his own life. And you can imagine, um, gosh, the devastation and the, and the literally years of healing that she had to go through after that kind of situation. So, uh, but then as she started telling me how she rebounded from that and how she recovered and how she healed, literally I could hear this kind of just a step up in her voice, the way she sounded and the way she talked. She said, man, I, I went back to school. I got my master's. I landed a great job. I started dating this wonderful guy. And, and literally, we're, we're, we even set a date for later this month. And everything was going, she said, miraculously well until just the other night. I said, so what happened? She said, well, we went out to a restaurant. And um, while we were sitting there, I noticed he got uh, just really quiet and just very distant. And then he just looked really mad and started kind of getting pouty. Uh, and he never would tell me what's going on. I even asked him like, what's going on? Well, um, later that night, uh, or, you know, next morning, two o'clock in the morning, he woke me up screaming at me all because of some guy in the restaurant smiled at me. And without even blinking, John, I said, has this guy ever been cheated on? And he, she said, absolutely. His first wife cheated on him. And I said, bingo, there it is. So the red flag that was raised is, why is this guy angry? Why is he waking me up at two in the morning screaming at me? Well, I said, you need to come in as soon as possible so we can unpack why this guy's so angry. So tell me, obviously it's a tragedy that this lady had to go through. I mean, I can't even imagine it's, it's overwhelming. What makes a man like this angry? Is it, was there something else deeper that even, even a trust issue with his ex-wife or, or what are your thoughts there? Well, yeah, it's a great question. And the reason why I immediately said, had, has he ever been cheated on? Obviously something in that restaurant, when this man starts smiling at his woman, right? Something was triggered there. And what's interesting is, so this man has what I'll call a betrayal wound. He's been cheated on, right? But here's what's interesting. And so, yeah, the, it's not about the anger. So what we say is, uh, okay, so don't be angry or go to anger management, but we need to get below the anger and say, what's this guy afraid of? Because, you know, most psychologists will say under anger is fear. Well, what's he afraid of? He's afraid of being cheated on again. He's afraid of being hurt. And so when he sees someone smiling at his fiance and her maybe smiling back just courteously, not flirtingly at all, but just just being a, a human being who, and maybe she didn't even smile back. He notices and there's a threat. So he's afraid of being hurt again or losing. She could love him more than me. So that's, that's the insidious part about this. The lie is not just she could cheat on me. The lie that happened after he was cheated on in his first marriage is something's wrong with me.